The Disney Lorcana spoiler season is in full swing. With Gen Con, and subsequently the first place to buy Lorcana product less than 40 days out, cards are being revealed like a rush of Icor. And this week was no disappointment, with at least one card revealed from each ink type. Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about the newly revealed Donald Duck. He is a 5 cost sapphire character with 4 strength, 3 willpower, and 2 lore. He's a dreamborn hero of Venter with the keyword ward, which means opponents can't choose this character except to challenge. His flavor text reads, walk smarter, not harder. He is the third card in the first chapter where we see the keyword ward, the other two being Aurora, who is also in the sapphire ink, and Aladdin, who is emerald. It'll be interesting to see how many ward cards will be coming out, because right now we have about eight evasive cards, which some are conditional, but it seems like evasive is gonna be a little more common keyword than ward, at least from the ratios we've seen from the release cards. Ryan did mention in the video that there are more of Donald Duck's hiding in the first chapter, so it'll be fun to see which inks he ends up in. Ariel, who's it collector, is a four cost sapphire character with three strength, three willpower, and one lore. She's a storyborn hero princess with the ability to look at this stuff, Whenever you play an item, you may ready this character. Her flavor text reads, You want thingamabobs? I got 20. Ariel is going to be an amazing card in the future. I think when we see more item cards in the fall with the second chapter, she's going to be a more powerful contender. And with her potential combos with Maurice and Belle, they could be quite a trio to deal with. However, if you aren't quite committed to Belle and her dad yet, you can run Ariel with her favorite human utensil, the Dingle Hopper, and then also utilize the Lantern and Coconut Basket. Just make sure you run those sequences correctly. And if you decide to have a Sapphire Amber deck, make sure you have Moana as point, because having a Princess Throwdown could be a pretty fun deck. Next up is Peter Pan, Never Landing. He's a three cost emerald character, three strength, two willpower, and one lore. He's a dreamborn hero with the evasive keyword, and his flavor text reads, what's the matter hook, can't you fly? It is really great to see another evasive emerald card. The previous one that was shown last week was Genie, but with Pan's low cost and the fact that he's inkable, I will definitely be adding him to my emerald decks. Next up is Simba, Future King. Nicholas Cole did an amazing job on this art, and I cannot wait to have a signature on him in the future. He's a one cost steel character with one strength, two willpower, and one lore. He's a storyborn hero prince with the ability, guess what? When you play this character, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. His flavor text reads, I'm going to be the best king the Pride Lands have ever seen. Simba's guess what ability is a great way to get some early card hunting in. We'll have to see how he measures up with the other low cost steel characters being Captain Hook and Goons. Having an early 2-2 on the board with the Goons is safer than Simba in my opinion, and having Hook to challenge other low cost characters is an important early steel drop. I'll have to keep testing Simba out to see if his ability is worth swapping for the lower strength cost. Next up is Maui Demigod. He's an 8 cost amber character with 8 strength, 8 willpower, 3 lore. He's a storyborn hero deity, and his flavor text reads, When the gods gift you a boat, you take it. The boat's owner is optional. This is the highest strength and willpower card to date, but to be honest, I don't see myself building my steel ducks around him. His willpower is absolutely insane, but by turn 8, I would rather throw Gantu down with his under arrest ability. But we will see. Time will tell and maybe Maui will make his way into my deck. Next up is Stitch Carefree Surfer. He's a 7 cost amber character, 4 strength, 8 willpower, and 2 lore. He's a dreamborn hero alien. His ability Ohana, when you play this character, if you have 2 or more characters in play, you might draw 2 cards. His flavor text reads, So you're from outer space, huh? I hear the surfing's choice. This legendary Stitch is beautiful. If you can get him down, then that two card draw and later gameplay will be a huge advantage to your hand. Next up is Rapunzel letting down her hair. She's a six cost ruby character with five strength, four willpower, and two lore. She's a dreamborn hero princess, and the ability Tangle, when you play this character, each opponent loses one lore. The flavor text reads, who are you and how did you find me? Rapunzel is going to be a great card to add to a multiplayer deck. Right alongside Aladdin, they are both high cost characters. But with Aladdin, if you can shift into Heroic Outlaw early, then you'll give some trouble to your opponents. And if you can bounce Rapunzel back into your hand with some of the current Emerald cards, your opponents will be in for a world of hurt. Next up is Zeus, God of Lightning. He is a four cost non-inkable Amethyst character with zero strength, four willpower, and two lore. 
He is a storyborn deity with the keyword rush and a challenger plus four. His flavor text reads, a little lightning solves a whole lot of problems. With Zeus's rush ability and challenger plus four, he's like an amped up Dr. Facilier without the ability to ink. But I think this is a solid card and I will be adding him to my Amethyst decks in the future. Last but not least is the beautiful official Ice Deliverer Sven. He's a six cost Amethyst character with five strength, seven willpower, and one lore. He's a storyboard ally and is a vanilla card with the flavor text reading, Reindeer coming through. Being that this card is vanilla is a little bit of a bummer, but that is being offset by his seven willpower. He's not as hefty as Maui, but in my opinion, Amethyst really needed a card like Sven. Jafar was currently the highest willpower in this ink at only five, and I'm glad we are getting some balance on the higher end. Thank you for joining for this video. We will see you in the next one, and make sure you like and subscribe for more Lorcana content.